Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with the income journey. And in today's video, we're gonna do another video where we take a look at a product on Etsy that is doing really well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how to create that design in Photoshop. So you can save a ton of money on designers. And as a beginner print on demand seller, go out there and make your first sales profitably you guys absolutely killed it on the last video right here you guys seem to like it if you haven't checked that out make sure to check that one out as well it did really really well here on the channel in terms of views so thank you for that if you do appreciate these videos please give this one a big thumbs up as well and i'll try and do more of this style of video but let's go ahead and take a look at this store here on etsy that we're looking at and the exact product that they're selling that is selling really well and then exactly how you can create something similar as a personalized print on demand design for your customers. So we're on Etsy right here and we're looking at a custom canvas. This is one of my favorite products to sell. Canvases absolutely crush it. You can see here, this one is an F4 canvas print. These guys are selling it pretty cheap. Generally, uh, this is on a UK store, generally on like a US store, you'd see something like this selling for $25 or so. I think this costs about seven to eight dollars or so on Guten. And they're doing this pencil like design right here. So very, very easy effect to get in Photoshop that I can show you. But first, let's just do an estimate of how many sales these guys are creating on their store. So buy Solu Nua, so, Soluna Creations, I believe, uh, 1,800 sales and a local seller here in the UK. So it's not a massive store, but they're doing nicely. So let's click over on their store and see all of the other stuff they're doing. This is a specific design right here that we're doing today, though, is this pencil kind of sketch effect. And honestly, I think the one that we're going to do actually looks a lot better than this, but people love these. You can see here, you know, people are buying all sorts of different things from them, but this is a pencil sketch one. I bought this for my friend who absolutely loved it. A1 service, super speedy delivery, highly recommend. So let's take a look at their store right here. They're doing mugs. They're doing like lots of different things. They're probably not doing print on demand, but one of their most popular items, as you can see here, is the sketch. These are also really, really popular. These glass things, they look really, really cool. And they do some other print on demand mugs, uh, kind of, you know, jewelry, all of that fun stuff. But we're going to focus on this one. Let's do an estimate though of how much this specific Etsy store is making. So I'm going to pull up my calculator, my trusted calculator over here. It looks like a lot of stuff they sell is, is fairly cheap, especially, you know, these keychains down here and the mugs. I'm going to say their average order value in this store is about 10 pounds. So we're just going to do 10 times 1887 and that equals 18,870 pounds in sales which is about 25,000 on this pencil sketch photo so let's go ahead and jump into photoshop and show you exactly how these guys are doing this specific design and if there is any other designs you want me to do that you've seen on print on demand or some sort of canvas or product or mug that you don't know how to do let me know in the comments i'll figure it out and do a tutorial specifically for you so Let's jump in and take a look at how to do this design in Photoshop. So now you've seen that Etsy store that is performing really well. Let's go ahead and show you exactly how to do this type of sketch design inside Photoshop. So I've loaded up a photo right here. This would be the photo that your customer gives you. This is definitely going to work better with professional images, maybe studio photos or wedding photos. I would probably recommend going out there and maybe positioning your listing as something where the photo is going to be of higher quality. So you might position your listing as a wedding photo sketch, right? So the customer's coming specifically for that. The photo that provide you are going to be high quality taken by a professional photographer it's just going to make your job easier so let's head into photoshop here and i'm going to take you step by step through this really quickly and show you exactly how to do it so i just have my photo over here in my layers first thing i want to do is click that layer, layer click Control j which is going to duplicate that layer and then i want to come down here to this little button right here click hue and saturation we're going to drag the saturation completely down on the photo that's going to turn it black and white and already looking pretty good it's kind of looking sketchy already so the next thing that we need to do is click our original layer again click control I that's going to invert the layer it's going to go all funky over here like this and then come right here with this drop down click down to color dodge and it's essentially going to disappear on your screen your screen's going to go wipe you'll be able to see a few lines right here that is completely okay we want to add a couple of effects to get this back so head up here now to filter and in filter we want to add a blur we're going to add a gaussian blur to our photo and you can see when we do that we get a nice uh, kind of textured effect here that looks a little bit like a drawing. We're getting closer and closer to that pencil sketch effect. So I would recommend playing around with this right here. You can see the further back I bring it, it's gonna give me a little bit of a different style. So depending on the style that you want, I'm gonna pull it up. I think it looks a little bit better in around sort of the, the 20 pixels or so. You can see if you pull it right up, 
it essentially gives you that photograph feel again or if you pull it down in around 30 to 20 or so it looks like a sketch so i'm going to click ok on that and then the next thing that we want to do is come down to our layers here again we want to go to levels and inside levels you're going to get this little box pop up just drag this middle bar up here a little bit and it's going to make the image a little bit darker the blacks are going to pop a little more then we want to come down here again and add brightness and contrast and you want to play around with these to get the effect that you want so it's going to differ for everybody depending on the type of style that you want i'm just going to drag these around a bit i pop the color or the contrast up a little bit pull the brightness back a little bit as well and we're starting to get you can see we got this little effect out here on the white on the background as well and we're starting to really look like a sketch so at this point it's looking good but it doesn't have that like textured paper effect if you're going ahead and you're printing on a canvas you're going to get that a little bit from the canvas as well which is nice but we want to do it in photoshop here as well so click on your top layer click Control, shift alt and e that is a lot of buttons i think it's command shift alt and e on mac Click that and that is going to create a new layer up here. So what we want to do at this point is add a couple more effects. So I'm going to come up here to filter. We're going to add noise on this. So we're going to click add noise. And on this, we're going to, you can drag again, drag this around. Obviously, we don't want that much. It looks like a 1980s TV right there. Drag this down and just in around kind of 5 to 10%, I think is kind of the sweet spot for this where it starts to look nice and sketchy uh so we're going to click ok again and we're starting to look really really good the next thing we want to add again is just on this exact layer filter up here again come down and we want to select sharpen and we want to select smart sharpen and in smart sharpen again there's going to be a, a couple of different uh you know toggles and stuff that we can do here so what we're going to do is i'm going to drag it down a little bit i think it's just too much here on this specific image but depending on the image that you're doing it could be better to have that up so i'm going to drag the amount down here to about 24 percent i think that's kind of looking good the radius here i can play around with that you can see it kind of makes it look more full whenever that radius is up or if we pull it down it makes it look a little more sketch like right or pencil like so I'm going to play around with these just a tad here. So you can play around with them. 24, 1.9 and 39 are the metrics that I have used there that look pretty good to me. Again, we're going to click OK on this. At this point, we're looking really, really good. But depending on the drawing that you have, you may want to make your hair pop a little more. And there is an effect that you can add to do that. I think ours, it looks really, really good here already. But I will show you how to do that. So again, on this layer, click Control, Shift, Alt and E. And that is going to create another layer. We're going to right click on this. We're going to convert this to a smart object. And then what we're going to do is create a layer mask on that smart object. So once you've converted that to a smart object, you want to click on it. And then we want to come over here to filter. We want to go to filter gallery and I'm going to add in poster edges right here. So on this, this is really just for the hair everywhere else. You can kind of ignore because we're going to erase that out. So you want to make sure your hair looks like it's been done in a sketch. So poster edges is going to probably do this the best for you. If we scroll around here with edge thickness, you can see how things start to change or emerge here edge intensity that just doesn't look great it looks very like kind of uh, cartoonish rather than sketch like so you can play around with the posterization that really starts to change stuff up i like it in around the sort of two mark here and an edge thickness of about one so i'm going to click ok on this and then we're going to add in an adjustment layer right there and what we're going to do on this is just start erasing stuff out so to do that you want to have uh, the white layer active and the black layer at the back right here and then you want to come up to your brush tool so i'm going to select that want to make sure we have just a, a hard brush tool right here and then we're going to start erasing stuff out so you can see as i draw there there's a line going through her t-shirt i'm just going to make my brush a little bit bigger you can do that by clicking the bracket key right here so i'm going to go ahead and just drag that over and drag it over pretty much everything bar her face just to get that original sort of effect back right here so i'm just going to drag it up uh, we're going to go in round her hair right here because the hair is really the part that we're adding this effect to right now. Uh, and then we're just going to raise in around here as well. Make sure everything that we don't want to be there is gone. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit right here on her face. So we're going to make her eyes pop. So you can see when we do that, her eyes really just pop out there. See them with her eyebrows and drag this down over her face. And that is essentially us done. That is us ready to you know essentially go ahead and print this you can look over here at your layer mask and see kind of uh, where it hasn't been colored in so then we could come over here click on our brush tool uh select this mask again like that hard brush right there make this bigger again and just cover that up because you might not see it like on your screen 
uh, but when it comes to, to printing, you might notice, you know, little patches uh, darker. So you can see up here, that's just covering the hair now. We're looking good. Everywhere else is covered. And we've went uh, from essentially this photo right here to this sketch photo like that. So hopefully that was a quick and nasty tutorial for you guys. If you like these, please do go ahead. Give me a big thumbs up on the video. You guys killed it in the last video that we did with, with something like this. You really liked it. So hopefully, again, you enjoyed it. If you do want to learn how to do personalization, you check out all the links down below in the description. We've got a course down there. If you want to get print on demand assets at a really cheap price, you can use my link for Creative Fabric. You get 35% off over there and they do a ton of different designs. And it's only the $20 a month when you use my link down there. So check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.